what's up guys today i'm going to go through how to do this car badge flip transition and today i'm also having a huge black friday sale over on my website so it'll be 50 percent off all of the final cut pro plugins and video effects that you see that i use in my videos so if you ever wanted to go and grab some of those today is a great day to do that so let's get into the editing here are my two raw video clips so the first thing i'm going to do is select my second video clip and copy and paste and then I'm going to change the anchor point so that the car badge is in the center of the screen. Click done. And then I'm going to right click and turn this into a compound clip. Then I'm going to cut out the car badge using the draw mask effect. So I'm going to go over to my effects tab over here, go to masks and then go to draw mask and just drag that on and zoom in so you can get an accurate mask around this and just click and cut around the badge. And if you click and hold, then you can smooth out the lines on the mask. Okay, so once we have the badge cut out, I'm going to turn this into a freeze frame. I'm going to hold down shift and press H. So now we have the freeze frame of the badge. I'm just going to drag that over the first video clip and trim off the end. And I might extend that just a few frames over the second video clip. It's just easier to edit that way. So now I'm going to go to the transform tool, select the freeze frame and just line this up with the badge on the car. And then I'm going to hit the keyframe button up here on the left hand side. And then also click this drop down menu, go to distort. And I'm going to hit the keyframe button on distort. And then I'm going to go to the first frame of the freeze frame. And I'm going to firstly use the scale and rotation to line this up over the badge. And then I'm also going to use a distort tool to change the angle of this badge so that it lines up with the one on the shot before. Now that we have the badge lined up on this shot and on the second shot, what I'm going to do is right click on this and go to show video animation and on the distort keyframe i'm just going to drag the second keyframe to around about here and then i'm going to go to the middle of this freeze frame or around the middle and i'm going to just use a scale scale this up and maybe also move it to the center a little bit and then move along about four frames, one, two, three, four on the timeline. And just add another keyframe on the scale. So now we have the zoom on the badge. What I'm going to do is add the spin effect. And to add the spin effect, what I'm going to do is go over to the effects tab and go to 3D orientation. And if you don't have this effect, I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a free download. So now on the 3D orientation, what I'm going to do is click use rotation and then go to the beginning and just add a keyframe on the rotation settings. And then just before it gets to the biggest scale, I'm going to add a 360 degree rotation. and just keyframe this so that it spins off of the screen as well. So I'm gonna to go to the end and just increase the scale to 720 degrees so that it's facing the right direction. So once you've added the keyframes, if you right click on the freeze frame, go to show video animation, you can always move the keyframes to change the timing of the effect. And yeah, there we have the basic effect. From here, you can add different effects. I added a blur effect to the background to separate the badge from the original shot. And then I also added some motion blur to smooth out the animation on the badge. And then I also added a sharpen effect to bring out more detail in the badge and this mask glow effect to add this glowing line effect. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.